so this will be one minute video i will show you the process of making mantaflux explosion simulation inside blender firstly you should start from any cube or uv sphere and i will have started from uv sphere then i will go to object quick effects and smoke you will we will see this domain so you can scale this domain and move that to be here After that, go to the physics and choose, choose adaptive domain and simulation 400 the more the detailed simulation but this will take longer time for baking and for rendering so this will be modular and if you, if you want the simulation to be around 10 seconds so choose 2040 but I will type 200 here is the location for the baking and after all you should now bake the data so baking data will depend on this factor which is the resolution division and will depend on the time of course so now it has been finished the baking I will go to the shader editor and adjust the material so here the temperature will be 5000 and make sure you have a type here heat not temperature and for the black out density it will be 10 and here also will be 10 and change the color to be something like this and if you go here in the viewport and the rendering add some light maybe sun and some shader sky maybe and for the rendering it will be something like this so here is the result as you can see uh, the resolution <laughs> isn't that isn't that the, the most perfect so i recommend you to increase the resolution 100 is too low uh, so increase the resolution, the resolution to be 500 maybe and you can of course render animation or render still image as you would like and that's it for this lesson in the next video i will show you how you can utilize and use how you can use the vdb file and import them inside blender without any simulation you can make your explosion also using v, uh, vdb files